This video is one in a series of videos that cover database topics in three themes. We look at Oracle Apex, Application Express for web applications, relational database concepts for designing and building databases, and SQL, the programming language for working with a relational database. If you want to work with the video series, you can go to this URL to get the scripts and handouts. In this video, we're going to work with the navigation pane. We'll make some changes to the existing left side navigation pane. We'll create navigation item groupings. We'll create another application and we'll move the side pane navigation menu to a menu bar along the top. Finally, we'll take some pages from the original application and copy those to the second application. The idea here is that in the original application, I'm going to leave a lot of forms and reports in their original state and make copies and modify those or duplicate those and make modifications so that you have kind of a before and after comparison. That's not how you want your application to actually look. So if we have a final form or report, something we think we'll use, we can make a copy of that over in the second application, which can serve as the production application. So I'm logged in to Apex as Mina Mendez. I'm going to open up the application and I'll run it just to remind us what we have, kind of a random assortment of items that are linked in the menu. So I'm going to take the approach here that we're going to have an animal section with forms and reports related to animals, and we're going to have a people section, and then we'll have a data maintenance section for things such as LOBs. So to do this, first, I need to create some pages that will serve just like this daily operations page does. I'll have to have a landing page as the parent page and then have a subset of menu items related to that. So I'm going to go into application and I'm going to create three blank pages. So the first one, I'll let Apex number that and I'm going to call this animals and click Next, and I will have a new navigation menu item created. But I will not put it under Home. No parents selected. I will leave that and have that created. I'm going to come back and do the other two. I'll create another blank page, and this is going to be People. Create a navigation item, but no parent. One more time, and this will be data maintenance. Create a navigation item, no parent. So I'm right now looking at data maintenance, and I have no content in this page. I'm going to right click on the left side and create a region. And that region on the right side, I'm going to have data maintenance. It doesn't have to match the name of the page. It could be something different. I'll pause the video while I type in some text. So I've typed in reports and forms in this menu section show items used to facilitate data entry in daily operations. If I save that and I run that, that's what this page looks like. If I would like for the text to be a little larger, I could come back and I can use HTML. So I have used the H3 tag to make the text a little, a little larger. So I'll click Save and show you that. Now let's edit the animal page or animals. And I'll edit that. Again, I will add a region over on the left-hand side. And this is going to be the animals, I'll just say animals. I'll type in some text and pause the video. So I've typed in the text reports and forms for animal data, transactions, activities, and animal records are listed here. I have some 
errors, but correcting that, click Save, display that. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do a right click on the application so I get another tab. And from here, I'll go into Shared Components. And this is actually something we have done in a previous video. I selected the static workspace files and I uploaded some pictures. Now these are actually pictures of text, but I've added some more things at the workspace level because I might want to use the same picture in both applications. So I don't want it to be application specific. So I have added these three pictures of text. So I just need to know what the syntax here is or the name of the location and the name of the file. I'll have to edit this a little bit because I'm going to use it in HTML coding. Coming back to Page Designer, I'm going to scroll up and I've added here and I've already made that modification. Let me paste this in. So what I've done is I've used the IMG command, HTML command. And I have to specify for the source, SRC equals ampersand, in caps, case sensitive, the area in which the image is stored inside of Apex, followed by a period. So I get rid of the pound signs, and then I have to match case. And all of that after the equal sign is in double quotes. So when I take that and then add a paragraph HTML command, or HTML tag, and then I save that and I run that, this is what we get. I'm going to pause the video and do similar settings for the people. I won't show you the details on that. And you don't have to have this image. I just wanted to remind you that you can do that. So you can either have plain text with HTML tags or not. You don't have to do the image. So I've edited the blank people page. These are going to serve as parent pages for other forms and report menu items, navigation items. So now I come back to the application and I'm going to go to shared components and now I'm ready to use those parent pages. I'll go to navigation menu, click on the menu. Notice we have a parent entry. I'm going to take the list of animals and edit that and change the parent from home to animals. And I'll apply that change. I will do the same thing with animal info with love, L-O-V. So that's going to be animals. And on these two, I'm going to pause the video, but I will make the data maintenance page the parent page. Having made those changes here, I can go back to my application and I can run my application and we see the impact. In animals, I now have a drop-down list. It, I can expand or collapse that. And data maintenance, the same thing. So as we add several forms and reports, we won't have a 30 or 40 navigation item list in the left panel. We'll group them under animals, people, or data maintenance. And right now, I don't have anything for people. Next, I'm going to go back to Application Builder, all the way out to Application Builder, and I'm going to create another application. So I'm going to create a new application, and I'm going to do AS Operations. Now I'll point out again, which I did early on in the videos, you do have a top menu format. I'm going to stay with the side navigation, the side panel, and then I'm going to modify that. So I'll go ahead and create this application. I'll run that application. I have to log in. So I have AS operations in both places. Just as a reminder, I can go to the application and shared components 
and first off I should come over here to my workspace files and I'm going to use a different image for this particular application. So I'll do go back to shared components, go to application definition attributes. We've done this before, but it doesn't hurt to repeat. I'm going to go to interface and then I'm going to logos already selected but select it or scroll down to it if it's not on your screen. I will replace the letters AS operations with the source for that particular image and I will apply that change, run the application. So I never seem to get this right on the first pass. Let me go back to my application, shared components, attributes, interface, logo, but I need to say use an image and apply that change and run that. So now I have animal shelter operations. The next thing I want to do is copy some pages from the original application. So I can go to edit page and then I can do a plus sign pages copy. I'm going to copy a page in another application. The application is the original, which is daily operations. What do I want? I'm going to copy the parent pages, which would be animals, create a navigation item, no parent. Whoops, sorry, getting ahead of myself. That would be animals. I'll pause the video while I copy the other two parent pages but I'll run this at first to show you that we have that here. Notice the image comes in because I stored the image in the workspace not specific to an application. I'm going to pause the video while I copy those two parent pages and I'm also going to copy uh, the data entry report and form for a couple of the LOVs that we created. Okay, let's run the application and see what I have right now. I have the parent pages and I modified the name of the data maintenance page in terms of how it appears on the menu data entry support just to show you that things don't have to be identical but I realized that I should probably walk you through copying the page the report and form for a couple of the LOVs that we have already created so I'm going to copy this page it's in another application and it's daily operations and I'm going to pick the status LOV 5 and 6 go together because right now as I'm going through this copy process I can go ahead and assign the parent so I can create a navigation item and put it under data entry support so we won't have to go back to shared components and edit the menu after the fact so I'll go ahead and click next oh, <laughs> and I'll, I'll remember to type something in. So this would be status LOV and create that. Come up here, do page as copy, create it, it need to do it in here. Now I'm going to come down and get status list. Next, I will not create a menu item here. You will get to the form through the report. So I will not create a menu item and I'll step through again from another application, daily operations, and I will get the other LOV which is breed. I do create one and it'll be under data support and I'll have to give it a name. Then I go get the associated form, different application, and so I come down here and get breed name. I don't create a menu item. And let's run that application. So now I have animals, people, data support. If I click on status, LOV, and then click on that, I'm getting an error message. 
I get an error message because of the P6. Hmm. Well, this is not good. So I'm getting an error message, and I'm guessing this is going to be due to different page numbers, which we know how to fix. Let's go look at our application, and we have status LOV as page 6, status list as 8. So under attributes for this, the target isn't 6, the target is 8. So I change the page to open to 8 as it's shown here, and then I need to make sure that I'm referencing the page items on those pages. So it's set up to go to row ID from the row ID in the current report. So I do that, and then I'll save that, and I'll try running that. So now if I select Available, I see available in the form. I'm sure I'm going to get the same type of error when I go to the breed LOV. So I'll make that edit, but I'll pause the video while I do that. So I edited this report page in the attributes. I switched from the page number that came over when I did the copy, I think it was 9, and switched it to 10, and then changed my items. So I click OK, and I can run that. So I now have these pages working. The last thing I was going to do is make a modification so that the menu is no longer on the left side, but I see the menu along the top. I'm going to go to the application, Shared Components, User Interface Attributes. I'm going to Show All and then I'm going to click on this interface setting. Scroll down to the navigation menu and I want it along the top. And as far as, well I'll try this, I may have to come in top navigation menu. That may be what works for me. We'll take a look and see. So I'm going to apply this change, apply again, run my application. So now what I have across the top is a drop-down. I think this might be what I would prefer. You can see more columns in the report page without having to scroll. So that's quite a bit. I actually thought this was going to be a fairly short video, but it didn't turn out that way. We'll begin creating a lot more forms and reports in the next several videos.